Hi, this is HC Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. Today, I've made it back to Anrak, and I actually already rested up at the end there, so uh, we're all set to go to the Sea Shrine. Uh, there's just a few things that I uh, want to go over before uh, entering there. Uh, well, obviously, I got up to level 22. Um, one thing that I forgot to mention was that the Master, uh, his hit percentage exceeded 64 at level 21, actually, not level 22. Um, but still, getting up to level 22 is pretty good, a good idea, because I want to try and spread out the level grinding for uh, the end of the game. So, um, I, you know, it took me about half an hour to do all the level grinding for this, to get up to level 22. So, I mean, it's real easy fighting those fire elemental enemies at the, uh, at the Gurgu Volcano. So, I thought that was a good way to go. Now, also, you'll notice that my uh, party formation has changed. The reason I did that was because... Um, well, as you can see, the Master's HP is really starting to take off now. He starts, he, at this point in the game, his uh, HP curve really starts to take off, whereas the Red Wizard's HP gaining curve uh, really slows down. He turns out to be one of the weakest party members in the game uh, by the time you get to the end. So, um, so that's how I'm arranging them there. And also, eventually, uh, I'm going to get a better piece of armor for the Black Belt, too. So uh, I'm just going to leave that at that. Also, you notice uh, his Absorb has been set to 22, even though it really should be 32. The reason for that is um, it's another bug. For some reason, when the Master is equipped with armor and he gains a level, it'll set his Absorb equal to his level. Uh, so what you got to do is just visit the armor subscreen. It'll check it again. His Absorb is equal to his equipped armor so that's really the way you should go you could actually abuse that bug to like say equip a ribbon at the end of the game then gain a level and you'll still get the uh, status protection from the ribbon or the, the well the protection effects from it but um it, you'll have the absorb uh, well his natural absorb as though he were unequipped so that's something to keep in mind if you decide to max out your levels but uh, really, I wouldn't want to take advantage of that. Now, in the Sea Shrine, uh, well, naturally, there's a lot of water elemental monsters, or fish, or whatever. Um, almost all of them are weak to lightning. Every enemy has an elemental weakness in the Sea Shrine. It's one of the easiest areas in the game. Um, but yeah, I mean, most of them are weak to lightning, so make sure to make use of uh, the uh, Zeus Gauntlets from the uh, White Wizard there. Uh, that'll be highly useful. And... Um, there's only a couple enemies that aren't weak to lightning, like uh, there's a, a ghost enemy, uh, simply called Ghost, uh, toughest one in the game. Uh, they are uh, they deal a lot of damage, even to a knight, so you got, want to take them out quickly. Just use everything at your disposal to kill them. Uh, let's see, uh, also there's a water enemy, or the water elemental enemy. Uh, kind of looks like a tornado this time around. Um, but yeah, they're, they're actually weak to ice for some God forsaken reason. I don't know. You freeze them in midair and they can't move. I, I don't know. But uh, that's the way it is. So uh, that's all the preparations you need to make. So let's head for the Sea Shrine. Warriors, you have Axiel. The mermaids wait. Please help them. Okay, let's go. Okay, so let's head up to an intersection and then we'll go left there. That's where I want to go first. And we get our first new enemy, the Gray Shark. Uh, not too much different from the regular shark, just has a lot more HP. Uh, I think it's like three, mid 300, somewhere around there. Nothing too tough there, so let's keep going. Okay, this chest is unguarded. You get some gold. Let's return to the intersection there. Here's another new enemy, Naga. Um, I think they can poison you with your physical attacks. Uh, I forget exactly. Oh yeah, they can cast lightning too, but uh, I'm not overly worried about it. Because we will kill her very soon. Moving on. And 
and we get to meet another new enemy, Wizard Sergeant. They, um, yeah, well, they just, uh, they're just a little tougher than the regular Sahajans or the red Sahajans. I not too much to worry about, just attack them, and, uh, hopefully that, uh, what is that spell? Lightning 2 will take care of, or two scarlets will kill all the rest of them. Uh, yeah, fairly likely that it'll do it. Oh, come on! That one was, like, 1 HP short. Okay... Yeah, nothing special about the new enemies here, really. Yeah, they're pretty easy. Good to get some healing in every now and then. Alright. Continuing to the right this time. I think it's this room. Yep. Got two grand. So now let's uh, head to the upper right corner of this floor. some sea snakes. Uh, they uh, do not poison you with their physical attacks, so just take your time. Just take them out. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention was that, I'm gonna, again, I'm going to be making two trips through uh, the sea shrine because uh, it's divided into sort of two areas, really. I mean, there's the floors. You, you actually start in the middle of the sea shrine, really. There's a couple floors going up, a couple floors going down. Um, we want to go up. To, uh, to get some treasure first, so that's what I'm going to do, and then I'll cast the exit, get out of there, and, uh, you know, rest up at the end, and then try the lower floors after that, so, so there, there's nothing else in the other rooms here, so, okay, just follow the path for a little while now. This room is empty, I believe. So far, so good. Now we want to get in this big room here, so. Okay, here's the water elemental. Um, if you run into a group of them, I wouldn't hesitate to use ice too, really. I mean, you've got enough spell charges now where you really only need to cast fast. Well, twice, but maybe three times, maybe on himself, but really, you, you want you only need to hold on to two spell charges for the, uh, the boss here. Okay, we get 20 gold. Yay. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. Up to this room. Yeah, most of the chests aren't guarded here. And we get the opal armor, one of the best pieces of armor in the game, especially for the night. Uh, let's see, we got 60 absorb, 59 evade. And yeah, yeah, that's pretty good there. It also uh, protects you against lightning elemental attacks, so let's get out of here and continue down. Just take it down at every fork from here on out, so. Okay, in this room, we get the Light Axe. Um, not particularly useful to equip, but if used in battle, it will cast harm too, so I'm going to give that to the Master here, so he has something to do. So, um, yeah, let's see if I can get the other chests. Okay, this chest contains the mage stack. Cast fire too when used in battle. So I'm going to give that to the, the white wizard there and continue on. One more chest. Almost there. 
And this chest contains a lot of gold. Alright. Now, this floor contains no enemies, but I'm out of time. So, uh, that's all for today's episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.